Bro, enough words. They're not working. I want one of those fat asses to just come to me and I draw a dove flying away. And I say, this dove is you, fat ass. And he goes, that's not me. And I go, why? Why isn't it you? And he goes, because I'm bigger than that bird. John Zerka cures obesity using the law of attraction and Jungian psychology. Guys, if you're fat and watching this, make sure to subscribe, like, and drop a comment down below. Now let's get to the video. The only thing you're seeing here from the esoteric lens of my channel is these fat guys cannot dwell in the feeling of them having and being successful and skinny and happy. They hate themselves, so they don't dwell in it. And therefore their reality starts morphing into that. Myron is better at dwelling into that feeling. I'm viral. That's, that's the only difference. When you feel good, you get good results. There's different feelings going on here. Everything is feeling. Don't let these guys think, uh, confuse you, right? You can use feelings to go to the next level. You don't have to do this, what they're doing. The losers feel like they deserve that shit life. They hate themselves. They're self psychically cutting their wrists. And they don't believe there's a stronger sense of self for them to dig into. They believe it's over. And ultimately, I don't want to say they have a shit life. They're in heaven. They're eating all the time. That's their heaven. That's how the mind works. You can have any heaven you want. Go ahead. But we know deep down that's not really heaven. And they need to come away from that. No, it's not what you say that manifests, all right, or ch tunes your channel. It's what you say that you feel for. So anywhere there's feeling, right, anywhere there's feeling, it's being watered. And it's really sad to say this because what I'm saying to you guys is all of your negative feelings got watered. That's why your life sucks, Chad. And the guys who 50-50 become like me, right? I'm free. I'm not Heal Mike. I'm free. But I'll tell you this. I could easily be a streamer like Aaron and Heal Mike. I could easily lose everything if I don't stay bulletproof in that thinking, right? Now, actually, that's a little too deep. No, I'm not going to say that. Listen, chat, if you've ever been shamed by someone, that person who shamed you loves you more than anyone else in your life because they're saying you're not living up to your potential. And that's the truth. They could be they saw themselves in you and then they get fucking angry. But where there's shame, you're just sniffing out truth. And that's why the parent parents are usually the operators of shame and or they gift you that blessing. <laughs> And uh, they're supposed to mean a lot to your parents so that the shame actually works. Most humans have not psychically developed since their high school self. Their sense of self gets stuck in high school. They think it levels up in college. It really doesn't. Greg said is a one-dimensional, one-trick pony. And oh my God, is it sad how humans never, ever, ever evolve from what happened to them in high school. What the fuck happened to you? Talk about it, bro. You guys got to evolve. There's way different evolutions to go through in life than this f high school stuff that Greg and everyone is so fucking locked into. It's like, bro, get it off your chest. Move the f on. Bro, enough words. They're not working. I want one of those fat asses to just come to me and I draw a dove flying away. And I say, this dove is you, fat ass. And he goes... That's not me. And I go, why? Why isn't it you? And he goes, because I'm bigger than that bird. And I go, oh yeah? Should I draw him bigger? And he goes, no. No, don't draw another dove. And I go, why not? Why can't I make a dove as fat as you? And he goes, no, because that dove would not be me either. And I go, oh yeah? What do I have to draw? What kind of dove should I draw to make it look like you? And you couldn't make a dove that looks like me, John. Oh, yeah? Why don't you do it for me? Why don't you draw the dove? And he goes, I can't 
I can't drop it off, Fang. Why can't you, Fang? I can't drop it off, John. I don't draw the fing dove in. I can't because a dove is. A dove is. Just draw it and I can't. I can't because a dove is free. And I am all peace. A dove is free and I'm a beast. That's why I can't draw it, John. And I lean back in my therapist chair and I do like this. Look around you, Tyrell. Clouds, sunlight. You are free. And he never eats a cheeseburger ever again. Because the one thing he wants is freedom. He says, I've lived my life in a body cage. We're already in mind cages, but a body cage? Once you use the symbol and you meditate on it, you will get to the deepest part of your psyche, your soul. And your soul will scream freedom and you'll say, no, I don't deserve it right now. I hate myself. Why do you hate yourself? That's fine. Hate yourself. Just don't be that self. Be the new self. Let that hating self die so you can become who you need to be. Resurrect, motherfucker. You get it? That you don't save yourself from... You don't stop hating yourself if you're fat. You keep hating that fat and let him die as you become the new guy who's fit. So you never forgive him. You just... You're new, you, you have to reborn. You have to resurrect. That's what this world is. This is the world of resurrection. You have to resurrect. Through which frequency? Faith. Faith, motherfucker. What's faith? Am I a good Christian? If I have faith in Jesus, I, you didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. You just said you have faith in Jesus. You didn't do anything. Do you have faith in Jesus? Forgive your enemies in your imagination right now. Forgive Bob. I can't. I can't. Bob is so hurt. He's, he's, you don't like Bob. So you don't have the faith? That you, the spirit dwells in you, but you don't have enough spirit to forgive Bob? Just have lunch with Bob in your imagination. I can't. I'm so mad. Okay, let's go to your imagina imagination again. Let's try imagine yourself skinny. I can't. I don't deserve it. And what would it feel like to be skinny, Tyra? It would feel like that dove. And I would be free, and I would never, ever be depressed again. And if I was depressed, I'd have the freedom to flap my wings and fly and soar like an eagle. And All that you're missing out on for a fucking Cheeto? For a hot Cheeto? That you gave up that whole sensation, feeling, intuitive thought for a fucking Cheeto, bro? the scary part imagine quitting dancing your passion for cheetos that start tasting like metal after the fourth bag listen bro i'm all for being a fat ass if the food keeps tasting good but you stop tasting it <laughs> am i the only one that's been fat bro when you're fat food tastes like shit like when i'm really fat like food's kind of like what the f you know what i mean the fitter i am the tastier food tastes so that's what I'm saying. It's like, bro, that habit is killing your taste in the food. You're, if the food didn't, if the food just stayed banger, I would literally be on team fat ass. I'll just stick around. But that's not what happens. And so you have to give up dancing plus the taste of food for, yeah, just and to feel like shit. Like, it's just a lose, lose, lose.